All right, it's been, uh, how many days? Roughly 16 to 18 days. We'll go 17 days. 17 days since I start, started running the cell. I realized I hadn't filmed any updates <laughs> in any of these days, simply because the cell was looking the same every single day. Um, I would change the pH every five days or so, and I probably had to refill it with water and salt about three times, two or three times across the, uh, across the 15 days. But I come out this morning, Obviously, I have to check on it every day, but um, just usual, just check to see it's all, look, the voltage is still there, the electrodes haven't been destroyed. But today, it looks quite different, and for a good reason. Um, there's always generally a residual layer of sodium chloride, which is not very preferable, but I thought it was going to be a long while since the chloride starts precipitating out, but it seems to be doing it already. I mean, this could be chloride because the water load has dropped. Yes, it's covered in salt. This is sort of this salt creep. No matter how well you can try and seal the cell, it seems to happen. Water kind of mists up and then salt crystallizes out and that sort of just keeps happening and happening around any joint to start pissing out salt. So it could be sodium chloride, but it's looking it's looking real good. Um, I'm going to still leave the... Oh, the, the current has dropped all the way down, so uh, that could be a really bad sign. But that's okay. All right, so I, I panicked a lot that... Um, oh, because the... Um, current has dropped down to zero that it's it's um, maybe one of these electrodes has, has like snapped off or something after all but what's actually happening is if I adjust the voltage here a little you can see that the current goes up and it starts bubbling a lot again so what's happened is that the chloride level has dropped uh, a really large amount so the resistance has um, gone up heaps so it's switched over to voltage um, control because it can't sustain the three amps you know it needs to go up to like 20 oh, yeah, 20 volts to get 3 amps. Um, so, uh, instead of doing that, I'm going to just turn it off and fix it up this afternoon because I'm already like hours and hours late to uni. Um, so, it just needs more chloride. Alright, here we are about 21 days after starting and it's a whole heap of crystals in here. So, I refilled, um, since the last bit of video, I refilled um, it with quite a reasonable amount of salt and water. Um, and that dropped the, the current back down to normal levels. But then what's happening is it's, it's using up that chloride um, and then the, the, the current drops down a lot um, for that particular, you know, voltage or whatever. And then so then the, the cell cools down and then all these crystals um, come out of solution. So there's heaps of it there. So it's getting to the point now that I have to um, filter the solution to keep it running. I mean, that's what we want. Obviously, these are all nice chloride crystals when I'll start you know harvesting some yield good news and bad news i'll start with the good news first um this is the chlorate cell i decided that there is quite a large amount of chlorine in there um so i stopped it and taking this out and put it in the freezer and there is quite a large amount of chlorate so we're going to filter that out and um, just do a recrisp to clean it up uh the bad news is when i turned off the power to the the electrolysis but then just left the electrodes in the solution which i probably shouldn't have done and it's caused some damage, which is very, very bad. It's not much damage, but it, what's happened is it's that join between the the weld of the titanium strip to the MMO electrode has gone. So <laughs> the electrode fell off. <laughs> uh, this is very bad, because I don't know how I'm going to fix that, because welding the titanium strip to the MMO electrode is not an easy task. So, devastating. So, we have some chlorate, but it might be the last chlorate we... <laughs> get out of the cell. Well, I mean, in this configuration. Well, so the chlorate is looking very grey. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Concerningly grey. So, oh, I don't know. But I, the recrystal clear it up, but it just worries me that there's some metal in there from the electrodes somehow. That 24 hours where it sat in the hypochlorite solution without the current turned on was probably very, very bad for it. So, if you're doing this, don't, don't do that bit. <laughs> All right, so here's all our filtered solution. But uh, you remember me saying something about the crystals looking slightly grey? Well, um, they're very grey. In fact, there's <laughs> quite a lot of what appears to be metal. Well, just judging by the colour, I guess it's it, it's you know metal. So, um, there's a lot of really nice crystals in there, but there's just a lot of grey crap. So I'm assuming the grey crap's insoluble, so I'm just going to get some distilled water, dissolve everything soluble up here, which should just all be predominantly chlorate. 
um, and then that'll run through into this clean flask down here. All right, it's looking nice and soupy, so we'll go ahead and turn the pump on. Thanks, Monty. Uh, we'll actually put some pressure onto it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, something starts to come through. The metal powder or whatever is in there, titanium dioxide or whatever is in there, um, is really good at clogging this filter, I've got to say. So I epoxied the titanium strip back onto the, the electrode, but then I realised after I let it, the epoxy set that there was no current <laughs> flowing through it, so it wasn't a good enough metal-metal contact, or the sort of oxide layer of the titanium you know, was preventing the good contact between the two, or there was epoxy between them, or, you know, whatever, but there wasn't any current flow, so I had to improvise and put a whole lot of aluminium foil on here to actually get some current flowing between the strip and the, and the electrode, which looks horrific, really, um, and <laughs> it's really not ideal, um, and obviously we can't run it with the, the water level above where the aluminium is, because then all the aluminium ions will start going into the solution. So hopefully we can still run it mostly full, just not up to this level. And hopefully this lasts a little bit. I might put some tape over the top of this just to try and prevent some of the salt spray getting on this and eating away at it. Aluminium is quite a reactive metal and I would like to use a less reactive metal, but I can't think of a good solution that I can actually do. Yes, you're right in thinking I could just attach the crocodile clips directly to the electrode um, both in both cases, so I don't actually need this strip here, but... You know, I'd like to try the other methods first because I have this set up, so I'll have to change the lid design to, to cut slits into the lid and put them through. So if this all fails, I'll, I'll have to go to that method, but hopefully this lasts a little bit. All right, we're back up and running, sort of. I mean, I haven't even pumped 30 volts, 20 volts through it uh, to get it to actually work at all, but uh, I, I think it's working again, maybe. I think. So yes, uh, my cell exploded. <laughs> and not in the nice kind of overpressure kind of way. In the kind of uh, hydrogen explosion kind of way. <laughs> so I wasn't quite here. I was sitting inside on my laptop. And um, it was very, very loud. Like a very large balloon exploding. Uh, and I come out here and this is all shot up and it was all smoking out of here. So, <laughs> um, combination of really terrible ideas. Did the alfoil get protected from the basic solution in the slightest? Nope. Um, so I assume then it was just heaps of hydrogen and then at some point the heat from the cell just caused the hydrogen to ignite, maybe the electrode sparked and um, yes, it exploded. Very, very loud. Um, not that it woke up my cat, but um, I did shit myself a little. So yes, uh, I'm going to take this apart because, well obviously I've, I've stuffed it now, so there's no point keeping the electrodes like they are, and um, it's time to revisit this whole design of this, um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, I boiled a bit of water off this, um, and I can see that there's starting to be some crystals formed at the top here. So I've turned the heat off, the hot plate's still pretty hot. So if we come into the freezer here, put the claw, that's not, no, it must be in the fridge. I'm not really meant to put chemicals in the fridge, but just don't tell my mum, all right? Um, we have a lot of really nice crystals in here. Um, and they're not big cubes like you'd expect from sodium chloride. So that's excellent. So we're gonna filter this out. Um, I don't think I need to film the filtering step. You've seen that in enough videos so far. I'll give it a quick wash with um, oh, ethanol. I think ethanol. I'll check if that dissolves or not. Dissolves it or not. Actually, correction, I'm going to use 99% uh, isopropanol instead of ethanol to wash the uh, water off the crystals because it's got a similar volatility, which is what we want, but um, will dissolve less of the sodium chlorate. And here we have our beautiful yield of chlorate. Look at that. Crystals are still a little wet, but not heaps, obviously, for the amount of time we ran the cell, but enough for my purposes for the moment. All right, to test the chlorate, we have some, I start all the clips with all right. It's a serious problem. I have to go through the editing and like cut out all the all right. All right, he said. Yeah, right. Like, yeah right. used, used to be okay, so now, now it's all right. Like you're doing this, what will be What will be the next trend? 
Look at him go. Mm -hmm. See? I like place it there and the spider's like, oh, it's going to build a nest here. Aww. Now I can't move it. It's, it's, it's his property. It's squatter's rights. To test the chlorate, I've just mixed it up 80% um, uh, chlorate, 20% sugar. Um, and the lights up on fire because obviously it's an oxidizer, so it's just a cheap, easy way of testing it. Light the thing on fire. Is it, is it actually filming? Yeah. Oh, talking shit about fucking. That's all I do. <laughs> just talking shit about the fucking. Yes. Yeah, oh, good. No. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh. Boy. Am I ruining your footage? No, it's ruined to begin with. <laughs> To test the stuff, I mixed it with sugar. Yep, good. <laughs> That's enough. That's what I said, but like less drawn out.